Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me on this really simple beginner Unreal Engine tutorial video that will show you how to make the simplest, easiest mirror material in this game engine. Now, as you can see, I'm in my template. It's a flying template. It's a small game I'm making that is at its earliest beginning steps. And for now, as you can see, there is a sort of a metallic reflective surface here that I want to kind of enhance with a single object that will be a cube featuring really completely reflective mirror-like material. So I'm first going to add that cube. I'm going to change it and make it a lot bigger so we can easily see that reflectiveness. And then I'm going to create the same material to actually place on the same cube. We have the object here. Now let's create a material. So we're going to add a new folder, which we're going to call mirror. And here we're going to create a new material. That's right click material that we're going to call M mat like mirror material. Now I'm going to open it up by double clicking and enter its editor. As you can see here, I have my basic setup that I'm going to use to change this into more or less a completely reflective mirror surface. Now I'm going to add the first node, which is going to be created by holding down the one button on your keyboard and here it is it's the first node which we're going to connect to the roughness element and we're going to keep it at zero as the kind of first step the next step is going to be getting set with the metallic element another use of the same principle as you can see it's already updating here by holding down the one button on the keyboard and adding another node, we are going to connect it to metallic. So while we're keeping the roughness at zero, we have to have zero roughness. Of course, it's a mirror-like material. We can experiment here and change this value over here to let's say 0.5 and see what that does. Right now, the update of the material is still going on. But the last element we're going to add is going to be the base color. To do that, we're going to press the keyboard button 3 on your keyboard and add another node, which is this one, and connect it to the base color. From here, we can edit the color itself. And the simplest and the easiest way to do it is to set it all on one or create it all in white. And that's going to be the base color right there. We need to give it a second or two so that it updates. And we'll have the preview. And here it is. As you can see, we have a ball that is pretty reflective, but let's use the metallic node and push it up to one. So let's make it more metallic, quote unquote, in nature and see what does that do to the final element in the preview or more precisely to the material. And there it is, as you can see, it's pretty reflective. It looks like a ball made out of glass, reflective glass. We're going to save it. And we're going to apply it to the same uh, static mesh I already added to the level. Once we do that, we're going to do a quick flyover or fly next to it to see how it looks in action. We can close this down. And we can simply M material, mirror material, take it 
and drag and drop it to this object. And as you can see, it's a pretty funky, pretty weird result because it's reflecting in full everything around it, including the background. And let's see how does it look like in the game. Here we are. Here is the reflection. We're passing next to it and we're going to collide with it but as you can see it's fully reflective unlike the metallic surface at the bottom this is something that is very much like a mirror but of course you can also experiment with different elements of that material and provide it with range of options especially when it comes to roughness where this level of uh, reflectivity let's call it that will be somewhat different but as you saw it with only three notes you can get that super easy super effective reflective material and use it in your own level that's all for this tutorial hopefully you found it useful hopefully you found it interesting if you did please leave a like if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below i would love to try and answer them of course i'm clearly not an expert here but I love learning Unreal and I figure that getting questions is a great way to do it because it kind of forces you to figure stuff out as well. Please also consider subscribing to my channel. Until my next tutorial, thank you so much for checking out this one. Have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine projects and I'll see you pretty soon on my new Unreal tutorial video. Until then, bye bye.